doing a bit of head scratching this morning. <clears throat> I'm looking at how all of this is fitting together. And there's something not quite right. <clears throat> if you get that point ending where it should here, and you clamp this up tight to the wheel arch lip, by the time you get down here, that rear end doesn't want to sit in quite properly. Um, so it's like it needs to actually curve more here. And then even if you do curve that bit back more, this line then points down. So I don't think this area is going to work very well. The reason I was doing that was I just wanted to make sure before I weld this in, I got the, the height of that right. Because all of these pieces come together at the same time. So this it'll go on, but it's it's not just falling on there, which is kind of what I want. So I'm gonna continue to work out the priorities that has to go in cock on perfect then everything else can be built back up excuse me built back up to meet it <clears throat> the other thing that's occurred to me is it would have been nice to put a joggled edge on this slide it behind and then weld down onto it but if i put my joggler on there it's just going to distort the panel and then screw up the arch even more Similarly, I can't get the joggle tool onto this panel because it's so close to that one. So it might be that I have to do a less elegant repair where this sits on top of that and I weld down onto that and then the whole thing gets filled, which isn't ideal, but at the moment I can't really see another way of doing it. So I'm going to continue to play, adjust all of this up. Um, it might be that I have to chop that off or even chop it off down to here and then use my uh, longer seal with the return flange on the end instead of the bottom section of that. I think that's probably going to end up being the neatest way of doing it but we shall see. I'm just going to put the camera back on to show you this. I'm making the final adjustments of where that goes. Obviously setting the height and the angle of that is crucial to where all of these lines which run along the bottom join in because <clears throat> these are straight sections and I don't want them to have to be twisted or pissed to fit the profile of that. I did have a long metre rule, a steel rule, but I can't find it. But this is a really straight panel anyway. And what I've been doing is just checking the body lines that they Right, perpendicular or sort of parallel all the way through to the different points on here. And now I've adjusted that somewhere close. You can see how it's sitting away there quite a lot, but that doesn't matter because what I won't do is weld that bit. That bit will be fine and then this bit can be gripped with the pliers and hammered and twisted until I'm happy and then I might have to put an infill piece in there. But uh, yeah. Just another bit to try and make sure you don't sort of commit yourself to um, screwing yourself over later on. So I'm going to mark that now because I'm happy with most of it. And then this top corner I'll have to bend round before I actually weld it on properly. Hopefully you can see this. I've just trimmed off a little bit more of the arch lip to get in and clean up the flange behind. <clears throat> I also cleaned up in here a bit more. Um, there's a couple of bits where the return had rotted out or was just a bit frilly. So I've chopped those sections out and next I'm going to make some repair patches just to go in here so that when I plug MIG weld my um, wheel arch lip back on there's actually something there. This flange is suspiciously short. I think when the people repaired this car previously perhaps they chopped it out I don't know maybe they're all just that depth on Rover 200s I'd expect a larger flange but I don't really know there's that word again 
I've just made a couple of little repair patches. One's clamped in here, the other one is going to go in there. And I'm just going to try and weld them in without blowing big holes. Which won't be fun because it's upside down welding and it's thin metal and it's on the edge of a flange. So, wish me luck. Left my patches a bit longer so that I can sand back after, but it just means it's easier to weld. It's less likely to burn back. That's actually where the dent was from. This area was dented and there was actually a crease in that bit, so. Somewhere close. Uh, let's see if I can get a bit more light in here. Somewhere close, right? So we've got a wheel arch lip all the way round. Also cleared off a bit here as well, so that other panel sits on quite nicely. I think I'll need to trim a little bit more out of there, but we're getting somewhere close. So I've done all the main prep I need to do on this first section. So I'm going to cover it now in zinc bonder primer. Um, and then I can go and have a cup of tea while that's all curing off and then come back and get ready to weld the new wheel arch lip in and the closing panel. I can't quite remember where I was up to last time before I went for a cup of tea, but basically I've uh, realised I've forgotten my um, airline and joggler. So even if I did want to experiment with either joggling the edge of that or the edge of this wing, I can't do it today because I haven't got the right tool. So instead I've been concentrating on just this closing panel area, I have pre-drilled my plug weld holes in this panel and also one through there. And then I also put a, a couple of heavy tacks in here to hold that reinforcement, well, I don't know what it is, rib, whatever, to the rear end of that stiffener. So that's all good and that's in the right place. So I'm just waiting for this red oxide stuff to go off and then I can position that in there, um, clean through the plug weld holes to make sure I'm on uh, good clean steel and then weld this piece in. I've got this somewhere close now. I was having problems with this infill panel not being far enough forward so I've beaten it in a bit and also shaved the end of that to move it about a mil forward, uh, which I probably shouldn't have to do, but I just don't think that panel's deep enough. So it is what it is at the moment. Um, the wheel arch is still gonna be in the right place. It's just gonna be maybe the rear end of the sill will be rolled in a little bit more. We're, we're only talking like a mil or two, so it's not super critical. Uh, I'm just gonna wait for that to go off a little bit more then I can sand it back and put some tacks in um, and yeah weld it in. Got a couple of heavy tacks in here and here and then I've moved this back to where I need it. You might think that's a big stupid gap there and it is quite a big gap but it's necessary because well it's not necessary but I not pack too much off before but um, it's gonna stay like that. The reason being I found my straight edge and now I can check and make sure, you know, the clearance I need between this panel and the rear wing is about a mil. 
so I can I can make that up I can hammer this out to make that then this body line running through here that's about right that one ignore that bumpy bit there yeah that's about right too so I'm happy all of that's going to be in and about the right place particularly that bit which is kind of the most crucial bit this is in free air so I can move it in or out as I need to later on so now I'm happy that that is where it needs to be I can actually weld it up So that's all welded in there. I blew a bit of a hole up here, but I didn't bother doing much other than filling it in. This can all be dressed and then it'll all be coated with seam sealer anyway, so I'm not bothered. But um, all of that fits together really nicely. I've welded up into that corner, but I haven't done anything here. I'll wait until I'm in a position to put the sill on to do that um, for the moment, just to stop it flash rusting. I'm gonna give it a coat of weld through primer um, and then I'm going to call it a day because uh, a lot of things to do really but pretty happy it's quite a neat repair um, it all fits nicely which is the most important thing